Welcome to the Flame Central podcast powered by um, a doctor's office, maybe? Powered by Ivy Look Profen. at this. Um, powered by Advil. Yeah. If you're... Alcoba Morgan, hey, Alcoba. baby. Yeah. If you're listening um, in the center yeah, of our table scene. right now, we have two crushes leaning up against the table. Joe hobbled his way into uh. his chair. Uh, we do have... A Sense Scholar Athlete of the Year, pitcher Carly Keeney, on for the interview. She's well, healthy. guess what? Joe Yock wasn't here for that interview. Doctors. Because yeah. he had a doctor's appointment. Yeah. yeah. We will talk more about this, but I just want to set the stage a little bit more. Um, remember when Joe said he could run a six minute mile? Yeah. With and the then six he corrected minutes. himself yeah, okay, that's to fair. an eight minute that's mile. Fair. Yeah. And then he was supposed to run that eight minute well, mile I told you in mid May. Timeout. And wait, hold time on, out. what's the date? Oh my gosh, it's right, May fifteenth. It's mid May. No. And now all of a sudden, Joe Yock, no, I'm not letting you time out. <laughs> Joe Yock has crushed. Don't we get two timeouts a half? Nope, Don't we get two timeouts a half? This entire yeah. rest of the month. Yeah. Two crutches leaning up against the table. Yeah. Oh, but, oh my God, I'm flat footed. I can't oh, eat boy. Stop. my yeah, foot on the right, crack. Let her go. I didn't, okay, I didn't go. get to right. crack. Let me so this enough. is what yeah. happened. Let, let me, let me. Go. I respect that. Let See, me I just. Took it. You're running that mile tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> let me just jump in here because <laughs> because I now this is not me, but a lot of people online, you know, are saying. <laughs> First way Emily said, the timing may be more than coincidence that the mile was supposed to be run about now and now you hurt. The other thing that a lot of people, there's a lot, been a lot of chatter, online chatter. Yeah. That, that happens on the world. Trash talk. The yeah. pick, our pickleball playoffs were supposed to be tomorrow. Joe, he was relegated to the play-in yes. game. Oh, that you're, there's been you a lot what? of chatter about maybe this in, injury <laughs> is, ne- is happening now so that we just keep pushing off the playoffs and eventually Joel, as the CEO of the league, will just be like, you know what, guys? We made a good try at it. Let's just forget we, it. We We're not run. finishing out the year. We we let's let's just look ahead to next year and doesn't have to take the embarrassment of, of a loss. potentially it, losing in the play-in round. Uh, of, of the his own league. Of his own league. Of his so, own league. Again, this is why. Not my Just words. Tell me when you're done. Not my words. <laughs> talk, but there are a done. lot of people saying this. Tell me when you're done. So, so, this is why this oh, league yeah. needs a commissioner, and it should be me. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let's, yeah. let's not pass get carried away. Yeah, yeah. Let's get that one past you. Okay. Go ahead, Joe. Have your moment of embarrassment. That's not embarrassing. Okay, a couple things, right? Yeah. When it came to running the mile, right? Matt Warner said it in one of the podcasts, right? The date was May the 3rd, whatever it was. But then Matt Warner also said we have to allow for some injury time. So that can push things back. Oh, and what? Wow. guess what happened? Injury. I had this thing down to a yeah. 715 mile. Yeah. I was running 715 yeah. miles. I was going in to break seven minutes, right? And, and I have an ankle issue. Yeah. And I, got, I got an injury. So we're allowed an injury. So don't worry, folks. The time's coming. <laughs> We're just trying to build the drama. Now, right. regarding build the drama, re- right? Yeah. Regarding, yeah. it's all of our, it's, all, yeah. it's why it's a yeah. showstopper. Yeah, this right. Is so, right. This is it's why it's a showstopper. Yeah. Right? Because when it actually goes down, it's yeah. going to be showstopping. Yeah. Now, regarding the JPL and the pickleball league, <laughs> you know what? You also made the statement, Matt Warner. What's that? Right? Yeah. But you know and what? I, it's, it's, I'm saying like, there's a lot of chatter. I'm not. No, I, no, no, no. You oh made the statement. Gosh, you made the statement the when I got when I got on you about you throwing your paddle, right? Yeah. You said I thought what happens in the JBL you left that wide in the open. JBL. You opened that door, and so yeah, you know you open that. Door. You know what, Matt? There's a great Bible. This verse. is not about since me. we're at Liberty it's University. <laughs> there's a great Bible yeah. verse, and that verse says, "Do not treat evil with evil, <laughs> oh, but yeah. with a blessing." Uh, right. So yeah. when I was evil to you for calling out your pal throne, yeah. you didn't have to be evil back okay. to me. Uh, yes, You're you supposed did. to well, bless, bless me. You. I'd like to bless you in the playoffs. <laughs> okay. Actually, yeah. you yeah. need to be blessed yeah. at this point in your old age. And there yeah. is absolutely um, yeah. zero chance that you're going to be commissioner of anything that has to do with the JPL. Hey, if this is your first time listening to the Flame Central <laughs> podcast powered by Alcoba yeah. Mortgage, typically we talk about all things Liberty Athletics. Um, slowly but surely, situation. whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Yeah. Slowly but surely, it has turned that. into a Joe Yock yeah. show. Joe, so I apologize. Just stop it. Ever since he it has sponsored. It was your wedding show for a year. That, well, oh, that's, okay. that's fair. All right. <laughs> Um, for the first time ever, Liberty Softball got an at-large bid to that the NCAA huge. Regional. 
Really Jeez. important here because they lost in the semis to Central Arkansas. Yeah. I was a little. I mean, you. I don't know. I was asking Carly before our interview. Do you want to? You do you want that team to go on and win? And in this case, Liberty definitely did because if Central Arkansas lost in the A Sun Championship game, they were good enough. They've been ranked for a while. Yeah, they would have definitely got the at large. Three A Sun teams seems like a stretch, even though Liberty's resume was good enough. Obviously, good resume. To be good, a resume. good resume. Good resume against really close, really really good teams. Right. That may got beat. Right, but like the UCLA's, the games early in the and season. Dot and Dot it said out. it. Well, you build yeah. the resume, and they yeah. built it because they're so they were so competitive mm -hmm. in those games. Yeah. So good well, for think, them. No, but think about it was North Alabama, right? Um, uh, yeah. In the championship. So say North Alabama won, Central Arkansas would have gotten the at large That's bid. Right. So that those are your two A Sun teams. It would be very rare to, to have that third A Sun team. Yeah. So all that being said, still flames. Very they're good. In. They're in. Still Head back. to LA. Head into L.A. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm sad I missed that interview. It's a perfect yeah. script, you know, with Dot's alma mater being That's UCLA. Right. So hopefully they um, did go out and play okay, in that. L.A. earlier this season. So. so it was UCLA, Liberty, San Diego, Diego State, State, and, and Grand a, Canyon. And Grand so we'll Canyon. start with San Diego State Friday night. Aztecs? Yeah, Aztecs. Too easy. Too, too easy. Oh, my gosh. And remember, like you said, we played UCLA down to the wire, lost 3-2 yes. to two in that game. So we've been there. We've yeah. experienced it. It's not like one of those situations How where you go into them. How good is Central Arkansas team? They, they've got a really good pitcher. Oh, yeah, really, good. really good They're pitcher. pretty solid. But yeah. we have Carly Keeney. Um, we're also going to discuss a little bit of Liberty baseball, Liberty Ooh, men's and women's you. track and field. Do you see that? Yeah. Both Did you see that? swept yeah. the A Sun. The four um, by four? Yes. The four by four. I was showing oh. that. that Y'all that... commented on that on Twitter. I went Did to the jump Twitter. in on that. I jumped in on that yeah. one. It was an incredible finish. Oh, I want to see that. It, it was it was definitely a photo finish. I want to yeah. see if there's like a picture of him crossing the line. And... Point zero two. Oh, was it? What it was. Wow. Seven seven and seven nine was wow. where the final was, but the last is seven seven for Luke, seven nine. Wow. So point That's zero incredible. two. Wow. And he grinded. What was that kid's name again? Is it, uh, uh, the anchor leg. Yeah. Um, Allie. Yeah, yeah, Allie. That's Allie, it. That's Allie, it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. So, so great awesome. stuff to talk about um, with men's and women's track and field. Golf is currently um, I think by the time we're taping this, it's like they're, you they're know, in their fir the first round the first of the round. regional right now. Jonathan asked me if I could caddy. I told him I have a bad ankle. Yeah, that's it's the only thing that helped you. Yeah, back. JY it, said, Will yeah, you hey, please can come you caddy come, for me? Can, right. You're gonna like your leg's gonna be dragging. This guy the is whole letting way. your leg in the pull cart. <laughs> yeah, it's just your leg. You're pulling your own leg. Yeah. It's, it's terrible. Yeah. Okay, but for now, let's get to this interview with Carly Keeney. Let's like go, Carly! I said, Joe Yock was not a part of this interview was not. because he was at the doctor's office, senior citizen. Week. All right, she's the A Sun Scholar Athlete of the Year, basically one of the best pitchers in the NCAA. Yeah. Saw yeah. when we when we talk softball and um, the A Sun All Tournament team member the Carly Keeney. Just keep I mean, stacking we up. don't have enough time for all yeah. of them. Carly Keeney joins the show. Thanks so much for for coming on today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for having me. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about yesterday's selection show. Tell me about some of the nerves going in and some of the excitement when you guys found out you are going to a regional in L.A., Los Angeles. Yeah, well, there's definitely nerves because there's no guarantees that we're going to get in. Um, we were pretty confident we would, but, you know, there's always a chance. So I thought it was pretty cool having the first at-large in program history. Um, that's huge. They were definitely, we definitely expected to be more in the southern region, maybe Tennessee, Georgia, yeah. somewhere around there. But, um, you know, it's it's a good surprise. Coach's alma mater. I think it'll be really fun to go to UCLA. So, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, like, how does that affect your mindset when you think you're going somewhere like southern or like in this region, I guess you can say. And then now we're going to the, to the uh, west coast. I mean, it's different, but it's exciting. I think you don't really set your heart on any place. You're just grateful to be in the tournament. Um, you're going to have to beat a tough team regardless mm -hmm. of where you go. So, you know, we're going to be in California, enjoy the weather, and do some damage. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You said, it like, in the past when you guys have gone, you knew you were in. It's just a matter of when your name flashes up there. How did it feel different knowing that, like, we think our resume is good enough, but we don't have the sure thing in our pocket? How did that feel different for you guys? Well, I know for me, especially being here the past few years and winning an A-Sun championship, it was like, Oh, my goodness, it's a much different feeling. Um, but like you said, we were confident that our resume would get us in. So, honestly, it was kind of a blessing going in the second regional because it was like, oh, okay, like, we're good. Pressure's it off was, now, yeah. yeah if it had gone down to that last one, yeah, you'd been exactly. sweating. Yeah, exactly, you know, yeah. it was kind of early, and so that was just a relief. 
who 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 just went crazy? We saw the video and yeah. people were losing their minds. Who is the person <laughs> that just lost control the most? Like who's that person? Oh man, definitely squad? Machado. I was yeah. gonna guess. I was gonna say, she's, yeah, yeah. 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 I think I think Devin would be a close second yeah. just because this is her last year, and so she was really relieved to see our name up there, but. Um, definitely Machado. She brings yeah, the energy. Yeah, so no Starts Yana in Spanish, yeah, you know, getting yeah, everybody, know, yeah. uh, everybody all spiced fired up. up. Um, you know, when you look at the how many ranked opponents, I should have asked our uh, as your Esteem amazing SID, SID Joe, Joe Carmody, how many ranked opponents you guys have played. But and you guys had some huge wins over those top 25 opponents. But what what can you say about how much it's going to prepare you for this regional tournament? Um facing such top talent and how did you guys get through a season when you don't when you come up this close in some of those games and not get too down you know when when you're playing that top talent well first of all just credits to coach for giving us that schedule you know it's one of the toughest in the country especially for mid-majors um you know playing in all of those games and it has to be like a record how many extra inning games we I played know. this season so just the experience especially for the freshmen that are key and like Paige Bachman who's a pitcher this year um, I think that's key to postseason. We had a lot of postseason field games, and I think that's going to come up huge for us. Now, you guys also have experience in L.A., at UCLA. You guys went out there early in the year. I think it was in yeah, February 14th. It was Valentine's Day. Oh, how oh, sweet. Yeah, what that's a memory. So what a lovely. sweet memory. Lovely. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and you guys, again, took them to the wire. You lose 3-2. to two. I know you didn't pitch in that game, but what do you think you can take out of that experience, even if it's just having been there, you know, in that stadium before? Well, like you said, I mean, being there, that's the comfortability of that, knowing like, hey, we've been in this situation. Um, I think, like you said, I didn't pitch. I think that that's huge for Paige Bachman, who didn't have very many innings last year, giving her confidence like, hey, I already pitched against this team. I did really well. Yeah. Like, I can do this. And not to mention, I haven't pitched against them. So it's someone they haven't seen and someone who's done well against mm. them, and I think that bodes well for us. Yeah. How have you grown as a player this year? You know, you had Emily Kirby in the circle last season, and, and you guys were just like that that two-hit punch. Um, now Paige Bachman, like you said, has really – um, come up big for you guys this year. But how have you grown and taken um, a bigger leadership role this year? Well, I think realizing, like, I am the majority of our experience. You know, like you said, it was mainly me and Kirby in the past. And we lost Megan Johnson, too, mm -hmm. who had a lot of postseason experience. So I think just taking that leadership role and showing, like, the freshmen, hey, this is what we expect. Like, this is the expectation. And I think Paige has come along well with that, and I think Emily could play a key part in that too. How has Kirby been? And, you know, as still a part of this team, but not going in the circle, but how, how have you leaned on her? If, if oh, at yeah. All? At the beginning, it was definitely a little weird. Was it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> just because it changes from a teammate, someone I've roomed with in hotels, things like that, to now you're my coach. Um, so that was a little different, but I have a lot of respect for Kirby, and she knows what she's talking about, so... I think just having someone there that's been there and knows what she's talking about and has been in pressure situations and someone that I'm, like, close with pitching-wise, like, being able to talk through things and being like, this is what we expect, I think that's huge for me and someone that I can lean on. We didn't mention this. We, we talked about a lot of her accolades. You are the ultimate workhorse. I know. You lead the nation. You finished the regular season first in the nation in innings pitch, over 240 innings pitch. Are you okay? <laughs> like, how are you feeling right now? Like, like the answer to that, because that, that is a ton. You doing all right? Yes, sir. I've, <laughs> I've had a lot of support. So, you know, from our trainer, Heather, uh, just getting me whatever recovery I need. Yeah. Dr. Lowe's going to the chiropractor. So they've taken great care of me, and I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm excited for the postseason. You can you, I mean, I feel like after that many innings, like, you'd be okay to tell, like, that. Like, listen, I know there's practice today, but I'm just going to nap. I'm right. just going to take a nap. Can you give me an afternoon off? Listen, Look at the innings and just do they, one of these. Like, they try like, to get ah. me to, but I just – I cannot do that. They've tried many yeah. days to send me home from practice, and I'm like, no, it's okay. Like, I'll just stay for this, or, like, I'll compromise. Like, yeah. what if I can just sit here and watch practice? And they're like, go home. Wow, that's but complete I opposite just, of what yeah, I do. Yeah, no, Total opposite awesome. with Emily. She's <laughs> yeah. just always. Every, like, can I go home? Yeah. Yes, everyone <laughs> on the team's like, just go home. Yeah. But I like to be there with my team. You know, I feel, I feel all right physically, and I try to tell them I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. So I just appreciate all that they like have supported me with and cared about me. But well, this is probably what the longest break you guys will have had in in a while, yeah. right? Because you finished up on Friday, and then you don't play until Friday again. So like. Is yeah. this good for you guys? Do you feel like it's good to be able to kind of just kind of reset mentally yeah. after the grind of a regular season and in the ASUN tournament? I think so for sure, and especially like the disappointment of the ASUN tournament, mm -hmm. just giving us time to be like, all right, flesh it from our system. Yeah. This isn't the team that we are. 
get back to work and get prepared for the regional. So I think it's a good break. Let's talk about your good buddy, Caroline Hudson. Huddy. Huddy. Another back-to-back -back ASUN Player of the Year. Talk about like your friendship and just being able to pitch to your BFF. Like, what what's that? What's that like? Man, she is awesome. I'm so proud of her, ASUN Player of the Year. She's deserved every bit of it. She's a very hard worker. Um, but no trash talk there. Like I should be the ASEM Player of the Year, but I'll yeah. give it to you, Huddy. Yeah. You know, I'm like she. She kind of does that to me about Scholar Athlete of oh, the yeah. Year. Oh so okay. yeah. Was it? Did you go back yeah. to back on Scholar Athlete? I think you yes. did. Yeah. That's, I mean, I mean yes, come, on. So, come on. But um, she's just like she's one of my best <clears throat> friends. So being able to throw back to her behind the plate, like it's just so much comfortability. We came in together. I've. I mean, she set the record for like she started every single game last year or the year mm. before. I can't remember which, but so just like. It's natural. It's normal. Like, it's just something that's comfortable. Mm -hmm. And that's huge for a pitcher. Like, I don't even think about when it's like, okay, I want you to bury this pitch. I'm like, all right, I know she's going to pick it. I know she's yeah. going to throw a runner out. It doesn't matter kind of what I do. I know she's going to have my back. And that's huge because it allows me to put my, like, my mentality towards other things and not have something extra to worry about. So I don't know if you saw earlier in the season, we did the My Moment series with Carly Keeney and Caroline Hudson. Yeah. And it was actually the same moment. It was a Virginia Tech, right? Uh, the walk-off that Huddy had. And uh, I didn't include it in the My Moment, but it, Huddy was like, yeah, everyone was asking me, like, what'd you do before this game? Because you have to do it before every game. She ate, I think it was a five-piece Wendy's chicken nugget. So yeah. we need to find a Wendy's in There's got to be one close to UCLA's campus. <laughs> There's got to, not an In-N-Out. Yeah. We're not going to no, In-N-Out. No. We're going to Wendy's to make sure Huddy gets her yeah. uh, Wendy's chicken nuggets. That's, yeah. that's a very I'll go, important. I'll go there myself. You'll go yeah. pick them up for her? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's your, by the way, what's your major? You go back-to-back -back scholar athlete. Like, what, what are you wanting to do? I'm uh, currently working on my MBA right now. Okay. Um, well, it's two. I'm doing human resources and then finance. Okay. So I'm not sure the career angle right now, but, you know, business is a pretty good yeah. umbrella. So. Yeah. Well, and you got one more year, so you might as well yeah. repeat. Take yeah. You know? You, well, actually, that'd be you'll be Conference USA. Yeah. You might as well go scholar athlete there. Right. Nobody's ever done that. Do you my know? best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stick with it. it. Well, thanks so much for coming on. Good luck. Anything else you want to add about... The no. trip to L.A., I don't know if there's room on the flight, but yeah, I would love it's to. Be nice. A late night start for you guys. I think it's 11 p.m. local time, so Flames fans will be staying up late to watch you guys. But <clears throat> super excited. Uh, hopefully the bats come alive. We know you'll do your part. And, uh, yeah, let's go Let's go shock everybody. And how sweet would it be the for line. Dot Richardson to beat her line. alma mater? One of the great players. Maybe the, Is she the greatest in UCLA history? We're looking at Joe Carmody. Yes, no. He's unwilling to go there. He, but, <laughs> He's not committed. But to I'll go, say it for him. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How sweet would that be to come out of that that regional and knock off her alma mater? That, that would be, be big time. Yes. You guys have been knocking on that door. Yes, that's, sir. You know, getting out of a regional. This will be perfect. For, oh, yeah. This is the this is the yeah. yeah. You can't write it up better. Yeah. So you got to finish the story. Yeah. Appreciate um, it, Carly. Yeah. Thanks so much. Good luck out in LA. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I think the best news is that Carly Keeney, well, is obviously going to crush it in regionals, yeah. but she's back next year. Right. So we. She's this back, is not back, the back, end. Back. Um, her first year was that COVID year. Yeah. Super strange, coming into college like that, but. You get that extra year, and we're excited to have her here on the mountain see, the rest I, of this season and next. I really think, like, this could be the breakthrough season. Mm -hmm. You know, Liberty uh, softball, we've all seen with Liberty baseball over the years. They keep getting back to the regionals, and just, yes. they're just trying to break through, get to the super, yes. get to the super, take that next step. Could this this be, be the Now, year. the only concern, right, at least coming out of the ASUN tournament, is the offense really was held in check. Like, their last two games both went 10 innings. Got to get some bats. They scored one run in each of those Gotta games. Got to get so some bats on the ball. The bats have Gotta to get, get going bats, because okay. the pitching yeah, was Keeney's fantastic. Yeah, Keeney's doing her work Keeney, in the circle. Bachman did well. They, they need the bats to show up in a big way, um, which, as we know, when it gets down to this time of year, you're facing studs, you know, in the circle. Mm, yeah. And so every run is so critical. But the bats got to come. I've up. watched these NCAA games in the past. They're fine. Yeah, they I, are. I mean, this thing, these girls get intense. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're rocking yeah, and roll. you get a hot pitcher, you get somebody who's Woo. just feeling it, just she'll carry you the whole way. Yeah. If if something does go wrong at the regional, we definitely need to blame Joe York because you know, why he you, usually why, how, he, you're always oh, it's all about Joe, and then you're blaming me. Well, well, you usually do that talk and, and get them in the I there's do. like a speech. That's do you want to give them a speech right now since so they can listen to it before the regional? I can do that. Yeah. Yeah, you want me to give him a speech? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a speech. I don't know if you can drop another Bible verse because you 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 only have like a couple in your pocket. Right? Oh, no, that's not that's, <laughs> that's, that, that's, that's not an that's accurate not. statement. That's not accurate. okay. Listen, girls, we're gonna go out to Cali.
We're going to go out to Cali, right? Going and, back, back. Hey, and we ain't going out there to have a bunch of fun in the sun. Okay, okay, there's a time for that. But once you cross that white line and it's time to strap it up, it's time to make the plays. That's what the great ones do. The players make plays when it's time to make plays. Get some bats on the ball, put it in play, get runs across the plate, and make th great things happen for Liberty University. Dominate, put your foot on their throat, and just <laughs> crush it. That's good. It usually ends with a foot on the throat. It's usually that's how Joe usually kind of wraps it up. The yeah. foot on the throat is um, kind of a go-to. Yeah, I know it's gonna be really tough. Yeah, I think so. I, I think it's okay. Figuratively it's a speaking, speech. right? Nobody's okay. putting right. any foot on anybody's no. throat. It's a yeah. It's to win the it's game. Same. To right. win the game. Let's <laughs> let's just hope Doc yeah. can top that. It's yeah. gonna be super tough. Yeah. Um, that was good. We'll that put that really in good. That, that was, I mean, being on the spot, on the that spot was like really good. Nice you know, because usually when you're at the doctor's office, you get a little, yeah. like your mind gets a little slow. So yeah. the fact that you were just able yeah. to whip oh, that together. Oh, 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 oh. Competitive greatness, girls. Competitive oh, greatness. Oh. Listen to me. Being all you can be. <laughs> my phone starts to get called. That's a doctor. Hey, we're but not, this is a very right important statement because if you're looking to buy a home, Joe Yuck is your guy. He answers Calls at all oh, hours of the day. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh my! Should we get is it? This, is this really X-ray update? Are these Seriously. the results? Yeah. This is from Jeff Lowe's. Oh, this is who coming live. With, live reading of live the X-ray. Oh. This is great. Who works with many yeah. Liberty athletes? Right. I mean, this guy. He's, he's top notch. You know, he's Jonathan. He trained. He helped train JY. JY. Right. Yeah, he tried to train JY. Family. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, X-rays look pretty good. Okay. You want to come over to review, and we can see about trying to loosen it up. Let's go. Oh, we're back. We could be back. Know, do you know what just this means? Just takes a little pop pop. Just a little pick pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just one of those. Get out there, kid. <laughs> yeah. Rub Dur some dirt on it. Rub huh? some dirt on yeah. Get out there, kid. Okay, so if there's like, nothing wrong with this yeah. foot, <laughs> well, what are we doing here? Well, like, uh, so well. Get it back in place. It's not a joke. Uh, yeah. Ladies, when? ladies, ladies, listen. <laughs> listen. Liberty softball, listen. Yeah. Competitive greatness. Being all that God wants you to be for the team, not for yourself, mm. not for yourself, being all that God wants you to be for the team at the present time. Stay in the moment. You don't know what's going to ha whatever happened before, there's nothing you can do about it. You don't know what's going to happen next, nothing you can do about it. You be all you can be in the present moment and dominate. That's good. That was okay. good. That was very good. That was good. Okay. You're better after you got the extra results. I think that kind of took a load off your mind a little bit. I might like, sprint out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you on the track. Yeah. Um, we will get to track in just a moment. Let's hit the diamond for a little baseball Let talk. Me tell Much you. needed. Hey, let me tell you. Much, Much needed. needed. I mean, this Series team. Win. This team. Oof. I, they put themselves in position, right? They win two or three at EKU. Let's talk about Saturday's game. They won 15 to 12. Yeah. And... I'm going to say it right now. Some of those bats are We're soft looking ball. at maybe the new face of the program in Kane Kepley. Yeah, hit for the cycle, Freshman, right? Hit for the cycle. First player to do that for Liberty since 2013. And tied a program record with six hits in that game. What a great wow. name. Leadoff man, Kane center Kepley. playing center field. Jalen Guy hasn't been available, so he stepped in the center field. And Kepley has Kepley. Kane been Kepley. unreal. So you win Sounds that. Sounds like you should hit bombs. Then you cut. Well, he doesn't. That was his first career home run. Oh, okay. Was well, to start the cycle. And then you come back the next day. Mikey Tepper, My 13 dude. punch outs. Second My time dude. this year he's done that. As Liberty takes two or three. They're now in position. Batman. If they can take two of three yeah. from Bellarmine, who's terrible second worst team Dominic. in the conference. It's if terrible. they can do that this weekend, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday series. They're in. in. They're in. And then, and then anything happens. happens. Anything happens then. Uh, anything can happen in the postseason. So, just got to get in. Take care of business at home. Man. You're in. That's all, it, that's all it comes down to. So big series. Matt, Huge. you'll be on the call. I'm on the call Thursday night. You and you better know. I'm, I, that's my last game, so I'm going to leave it all out there. Oh, man. I'm going to leave it all in the booth, can as I, they say. Can I, go, can I come on the booth and hang Why not? I don't know. Yeah, I'll, there's an elevator. I thought you had a golf yes. tournament to play. Oh, I have, well, the ankle's better. I got a golf tournament. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're back. Gosh. Yes, um, yeah. I would love for you to join us. On the yeah, podcast. really, really rooting for Liberty Baseball, yeah. hoping that they a are weird able year. to get – Weird year. Up and but, down, but you know what? And we know this. We talked right. to Scott Jackson. That guy's a grinder. Yeah, he's a he's, grinder. There's not going to be any quit. He mm. won't allow it. <laughs> and you, he said what? We just keep showing up. We keep putting in the work. And Maybe we the know – The bats are cooking. Eventually it will pay off. The bats and are the cooking. And the bats are heating up. If you can get just enough pitching, get just enough you pitching. just don't know. And yeah. we talked about, too, how weird the, the whole postseason is. Liberty's going to be the two seed. 
if they yeah. just get in. Yeah. So just take care of business this weekend. You're in. You're set up well. Give yourself a shot. Well, maybe next week you know we'll have need. your speech for the baseball team. Uh, yeah, yeah, we know the we'll baseball have, team we'll needs to do. Time on that. I saw this Instagram reel, right? Okay. And it was from the 2022 Kentucky Derby. And yes. is it Strike It Rich, Rich Strike, whatever the name yeah. of the horse was? And it's the overhead, like, drone view of the race. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's incredible. Go watch it on the World Wide Web. What did that have to do 20, with it? Did he, like, come because, from? Yes, he comes from way base. 80 to 1 odds. He's oh, a total dark yes, horse. Yes, it's yes. like our baseball team right now, right? Yeah. They're, they're, but they're, they're good. Yeah. Right? You know the horse is good. They're good. But they're yeah. way in the back of the pack right now. And he, you know what that horse does? Weaves his way. Around mm-hmm. the, the over, the over, it's incredible. Yeah. The announcer doesn't even say his name until the and like here comes striking rich yeah. at the very end, and he wins the Kentucky Derby. Well, I'm glad. Why you not the Flames baseball? I'm glad you didn't compare them to this year's Kentucky Derby because they put down like seven horses before right know. before the race. So that wouldn't. Have been. I didn't know that. about that. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Like yeah, like seven horses died. Something weird on about. the track. It's COVID. Don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, COVID. COVID. Gosh. Um, okay, Equine. so yeah. uh, Liberty Men's and Women's track. track this is your moment, Emily. Emily, what? Our track insider. You are a track insider. They swept the A Sun champ- outdoor championship. Yeah. Um, huge. 16 huge. straight <clears throat> outdoor championships for the Liberty men. It's. Th- it 16 is 16 straight. I think the two next you know, they need to start looking up what the conference record is overall for most straight championships. Yeah, yeah they're it. They they own it. No, is but it? I'm talking well, about active nationally. streak. But you mean all oh, time? Active. I'm talking about yeah, nationally. I'm, I mean, 16 in a that's row. Ridiculous. Um, that's ridiculous. Yeah, we will. We do. Yeah. If, if Paul so, Carmony heard us yeah. talking about Who's this, your crack research staff. Paul Carmony. Paul Carmony. Paul Carmony. The Carmony brothers on this podcast. We're just really getting pistol. Paul, get on the case. We'll get. Um. So, but I think it's even. I think it's 26 straight conference championships for the men between indoor and outdoor. Oh, that 26 would, okay. straight, that yeah. um, which is just incredible. But um, if you haven't seen the 4x400 relay finish, it oh. is absolutely incredible. Um, Liberty had the, oh, the lead going into the final leg, but you just have to watch that final yeah. leg of that race um, against Kennesaw State. It is absolutely incredible. Go to Liberty X. CTF on Twitter and and watch that video because it's really really cool. I always forget what it is. Cross country. Yeah. Um, Ali Kipchurcher was the one, the athlete that that closed it out and came from behind. Some some big big victories in in that. And we whenever we do a feature, Matt and I were talking about this earlier this week. When Mm -hmm. we do a feature on an athlete, Mm -hmm. it's almost like the flame central blessing because I'm currently working on a feature on Isis Brooks, one of the sprinters for Liberty Women's uh, Track, and she just set a new program record in the 200. She won the 100, 200. She's just um, incredible. Yeah, women third time in four years. She's got the record for Liberty for 100 and the. No, for the 200. For the 200? I, actually, she might have it for the 100, too. Oh, my goodness. Um, but that was said, I want to say, maybe last There's year. There's some – I she, know track records. Yeah. I know track records. And I've seen some of Liberty's track records. They're solid. They're solid. I mean, so the like, fact these that, aren't like, like, oh, look at these cute little records. These no. are some, no, some they're, solid Lance records. Lance Bingham is legit. I'm Lance, so. they call him La- – I'm going to give him a new nickname. Okay. Lance Hardware Bingham. Yeah. I mean, he just brings Stacking all the hardware. He yeah. stacks it. Stacks it. Um, I'm and if you didn't to... see the video of him with his team afterwards, Denying like praying him. with his team, yeah. the same thing. Oh, that's check incredible it out. Powerful too. stuff. Like that just gives you a glimpse into the type of guy Lance Bingham is Lance Bingham. and the type of program that he's trying to continue to build and grow here at Liberty. Like that guy is as solid as, as they come. Solid. Great guy. Um, solid. Another Liberty record was Meredith Engel. She oh, we did a story on that. Um, heptath- yeah. Heptathlon. We, 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 haven't um, had, we haven't had Lance on the podcast. And then we'll work on it. I'm, on that. Efforting. Yeah. I'm pretty we'll sure. This is good. This is good. This is good. Um, right? Holmes got the 400 yeah. hurdles record. And then the I'm pretty are all sure over the place. that they won. Men and women both took the titles in the 10K, I believe. Um, Matt, you sweep have been a the good 10K title. Man. Yeah, I think so. Which yeah. 10K is 6.2 <laughs> miles on a track. That's 25 yeah. laps on an outdoor track. That's just. Yeah. Um, you know why you, know you would have been a good hurdler? What's that? Because you would attack the hurdles. Right. In anger. Yeah. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, and you're fast. More, yeah. Your yeah. girl, Callie Doan, won the steeplechase, which is one, you know, speaking Callie of Callie Doan's run the steeplechase? Yeah. She is a woman of many. Did she win? What did she do in like the, it's the 3200, right? Um, mile. 
Share in the mile. I'm sure I need too. to. I mean, let's got, get, let's yeah, get we're, 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 enough. Yeah, we're Emily's scrolling through. Emails I know. Right I'm, now. I'm. 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 I'm looking <laughs> at all the just, updates. I'm so sorry. Yeah, of course, is, Lance yeah. Bingham got the, coach the men's yeah. and yeah. women's coach of the year. Um, all and, guts in the four by four. All guts. That's what Yacht Talk yeah. went to Twitter with. It was all guts. No doubt. Because that it, it, it was out like fire. Yeah. And just hung there, hung there, hung there. And then you Never love quit. it. Start tightening up. You can see it. You can see it. Go yeah. up there tight. And then he's just guts all the way. Just keep it smooth. Keep it Love smooth. it. Keep it um, smooth. We wrap things up on this Flame Central podcast. Powered, Powered by, by Alcoa Mortgage. Mortgage. You go to the Google machine, type in Joe Yock, J-A-U-C-H. Listen, you need a home purchase? You want to refinance? You live in Virginia? You live in the state of North, great state of North Carolina? You're a Liberty Flame graduate? You know? Come on, just go scum to me. <laughs> we'll take great care of you. It's almost. It's, true. it's almost too, too easy. easy. Okay, men's golf. Men's golf, I guess yep. that's the only it's golf. True. Um, opening regional play Michigan. out in Michigan. What? I wonder what the temperatures are today. Oh, nice. um, either way, nice at this point at of this recording. At this very moment, they are tied for seventh. Remember, top five move on. Uh, as soon as how I say that, it? it's how many rounds? Is no longer. How, how many rounds? Oh boy, what oh are we doing? God, I just took a picture. Three, three rounds, three days. <laughs> Uh, top five teams move on. So keep a close Day eye on that. Day one today. Day one. Start, we got start it, JY. Hey, JY's one, in the one last strong. thing I want to say. I just want to add to the show. We, you know, we used to do like Matt's Minute. We used to do yeah, Yacht Talk. Remember saying, how great that was? Wow. Well, you uh, guys have. We remember when, we're out, you were in yeah. charge of this podcast. We were in a Matt's Minute. Yeah. You uh, don't have to do mine. I just want well, to hear Matt's Minute. Remember back then, too, we had a guy. It's right here. Remember with Rhett McGibbon on the show? Remember when he was on our show? Oh. When he was on here? Oh, Rhett? yeah, I do know that. Do you remember that guy? Then he kind of he's moved America's into some anchor. other other things. He's not doing that anymore. But Rhett, we always talk about his chickens, right? Yeah. He yeah, had all his chickens. chickens. Well, the I box, just want to let you know, the boxes I'm officially a chicken, a chicken farmer. You are? <laughs> we are now the proud owners of 12 chickens. I thought it was 14. At your house? No, it's 12. At our house. In your backyard? In our backyard. Oh, your neighbors are not And so like that. they have chickens too, <laughs> our neighbors. So we're all good. So 12 chickens. So I feel like now I bring a certain extra element to the show, being that you know I'm a farmer now, and I just <laughs> you know there's the wisdom that goes along with that, and you, you know, are you know what you are, man. Uh, Who do they say you're a Virginia gentleman farmer? Is that what it is? <laughs> that's your title. I don't know the, if I like the, that. The, the, that. No, that's proper. That okay? That's is very it? proper. Okay. Yes, that okay. that that is respected. Okay. Virginia there is no yeah. gentleman farmer. Anyone is still listening or watching at yes. this point. Yeah. I mean, if you are. Hey, guess maybe. what happened? With, speaking of chickens, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> I like where oh, this gosh. is headed. No, 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 this is good. Yeah. Yesterday, you know, I'm a turkey hunter. You saw yeah, my right. Twitter. I got yeah. I shot turkey. Yeah. So we, I we ate some of it. You, we, we ate some of it. It was absolutely delicious. So y- yesterday, right, there's a hen, and the hens go around, and, and we got all this all this land yeah. that we live on, and the stinking hen has been wandering around our property just doo, 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 yeah. doo, doo, and she's looking where to lay her eggs. This has been going on for weeks. So we watch her every once in a while. Yesterday, she goes right in the middle of the backyard. And they start scratching and doing the dirt's kicking up everywhere. And she, she sits her little yeah. rear end down yeah. in there. Yeah. And she settles in. In the middle of the backyard. In the middle of the backyard. I said, I got to cut the grass right there. <laughs> those yeah. those hey, eggs, don't, about those eggs. eggs don't have a chance. <laughs> no, no, no. We're going to leave her alone. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah you just put a little, like, little we'll just, we'll fence, fence We'll fence it off and she <laughs> let, yeah. let her do her thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a wild right. turkey. That's wild. If you want to tell yeah. us any of your chicken stories, be yeah. sure to send in um, for the mailbag, flamecentral at liberty.edu. Yeah. Yeah. No mailbags this week, but flamecentral at liberty.edu. I've sent out mugs the last two weeks Have to the really? best question. I've sent them out. You can get a mug, send us a question, or... If you'd like to send, do you remember? Do you remember when those e cards were a Gorgeous. big deal? They are still. When they thought that, like, oh, they'll put Hallmark out of business. Whatever. If you want to send a get well e card to Joe Yak, <laughs> you can also because of his ankle injury, you can also oh send gosh, those. Oh my gosh, that thing is massive. Is that swollen or does it always look like that? It's swollen. Okay, good. Wow. Oh my gosh. How do you? Wow. But the X-rays are that clear. Was... So he's that just a look good. Win. No, it's not. It's not, it's not good. It's not good. It's what happens when um, you try to run a six. All right, we gotta line. wrap things yeah. up. We'll bring Joe's crutches, so you just stay right there. Yes, there, there. Um, thanks so much for car. listening or it's watching. It's a flame central park. Powered by Alcova Mortgage. Yeah. We'll keep you posted next week on softball, baseball, and um, lots of big stuff yeah, coming up. Hopefully, yeah. golf yeah. advances to NCAA nationals and Liberty. We based to have runners going in regional, so we'll keep you loop in the loop with all of that. Home players. Right. Yeah. We'll see you next week.